Welcome to Synagogues of South Africa, Part 5. In this episode, we check out the Jewish houses of worship in the city of Johannesburg, which happens to be the largest city in the country with about 960,000 residents. This is the Beth Medrash HaGadol, and also known as the Santon Shul because of its location. This congregation was established in the late 1960s. At that time, it was called the Sandon Hebrew Congregation. In 1969, the name was officially changed to the Sandown Synagogue Center. Then, in 1972, the building that is shown here was purchased and constructed. In 1975, it merged with the Beth HaMedrash HaGadol Synagogue, becoming the Beth HaMedrash HaGadol Santon Synagogue. Over the years, an additional building was constructed, and in 1999, the campus was finalized to the look that it has today. Rabbi David Shaw is the spiritual leader. Full services are offered on a daily basis, and the building also has a mikvah. The Sandtown area also has a Chabad house. This is its location, but that's all the information we have on it, other than there are other branches of Chabad in the Johannesburg area. In fact, this one here is probably considered the main branch of Chabad in Johannesburg. Its director is Rabbi David Massenter, who is assisted by several fellow rabbis. By the way, the director of that Santon branch is Rabbi Yossi Hecht, assisted by Rabbi Shauli Minkowitz. There are branches in the Four Ways area, Hyde Park, Lindhurst, Melrose, Norwood, Strathaven, Glen Hazel, and there is a Torah Academy as well. This is the Emerentia Synagogue, or Shul, and it is a pretty large building from one can see looking at it from different directions. Its most recent leader is Rabbi Rodney Richard. Coming up is a look at the synagogue sanctuary area. Coming up here is a progressive or reform type synagogue. On the building it's written Temple Emmanuel, but they call themselves also Beit Emmanuel. It was organized around 1954. Its spiritual leader is Rabbi Sa'ar Shaked. Shabbat services are held Friday evenings in the sanctuary. Saturday morning Shabbat services are held mostly informally in the outdoor gardens. We're now looking at Temple Israel Hillbro that is fighting an uphill battle to stay relevant. It is situated in a slum area of the city. The congregants are hesitant to come to services on Friday nights at this Reform or Progressive Temple. Several of the few that attend regularly on Saturday mornings are local black converts. This conversion was performed by Reform rabbis. There may be a total of close to a dozen progressive synagogues in South Africa. The cornerstone for this building was laid in 1935 when the neighborhood had more Jewish presence. The building is now a heritage site, and the congregation does get a full compliment on the high holidays. Our final stop on this episode is the Waverly Shul, another Orthodox congregation. It's in the northern suburbs of Johannesburg, and it was established in the 1950s. It is also known as Beit Yisrael, and offers a shtibel atmosphere. Gabi Bukatz is the rabbi. The full complement of services are offered on a daily basis. We conclude this episode letting everyone know that we still have one more episode to check out the shoals in South Africa. See you soon.